Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will discuss about the purchase template. Purchase templates in Odoo are like the pre-made forms for creating purchase orders and this help you to create consistent and efficient documents for buying things repeatedly. So let's dive into the purchase module to manage with the purchase template. First, we can just dive into the configuration settings where we have to enable the feature purchase agreement. This would allow you to manage with the purchase template and here you can see as you just enable this, this would also let you to manage the blanket orders. So let's move on to the con I mean orders and you can find the purchase order over here. So you would be able to find different purchase agreements such as uh, the agreement type as purchase template and blanket order. So I'm going to create a new purchase template. So purchase template is nothing but that would allow you to um yeah, set a template whenever you want to buy certain things multiple times or quickly and efficiently. So I'll be setting a vendor over here. I'm going to choose a vendor as AXA Foster. And here you can find the agreement type and you just need to set it as purchase template so that you can find that you can set the reference number and this template comes under the company, demo company. And you can also set a buyer over here. So I'm going to choose my buyer as mission admin or if you want to change your buyer, you can change that. Afterwards, you can choose the products over here. So templates are basically used for, uh, uh, sometimes we know, uh, we may just need to set a template as uh, multiple products will be uh, chosen. Like the same products, same quantity or the unit price will be used simultaneously uh, for uh, uh, frequent purchases. So in such cases, you can use this purchase template so actually you can also set the quantities and also uh, manually change the prices of the product trip here so i'll be using this uh, purchase template and uh, the specialty of the purchase template is that the same will vendor will be uh, applied for all the rfqs so i'm going to set the quantity as uh, five over here and you can set uh, the quantities uh, like for each of the products and you can also update the unit price over here so I'll be updating the unit price and uh, yeah, we have given the unit price everything. Later on, you can save this. So as you just save this, now the next step is that we can just confirm this purchase agreement. So once you just confirm this purchase agreement, you can see that we can just uh, include multiple. I mean, you can find the RFQs or the orders associated this with this purchase order. And if you want to again add any particular product into it, let's try to add um, to check whether we can add or not. So I'm going to add a new product into my template. And here you can see I'm going to set the quantity as well as the price uh, of the product. So it's easy to add um, a new product into the template and we can just create a quotation for this. So let's click on new and here you can see that uh, the vendor is AXA. Uh, first turn and you can find the agreement uh, with all the products and from here also we can just manually change the uh, quantity of the product as well as we can also manually uh, set all other uh, I mean can manually change the quantities and all from here even if you want to create the uh, quotations okay so currently I have created a quotation over here so as you just move on to the purchase uh, template you can see currently we have one uh, order or RFQ and if you want to create a new RFQ over here you can uh, again uh, create a new RFQ so if you want to just change any product from this template you can quickly remove that and quickly add the products into a template so actually this would uh, improve the efficiency in purchasing and uh, if you want to view the count of RFQ that is associated with this purchase uh, template you can also easily get that and let's move on to the purchase template and that shows the count um, of the RFQs that are associated right now and uh, uh, you can just simply uh, confirm uh, the quotations from here so I'll be choosing confirm order and here you can see we can simply confirm the order from here so um, you can just receive all these items into your stock by choosing receive products and you can click on validate and this would let you to add the item into your stock. So it's that easy to manage with a purchase template and uh, you know in case of the purchase template the product quantities and the prices will be copied over as it helps to place 
frequent RFQs. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.